This is the uh, grave of the remains of Eleanor McGee and her infant child who were drowned in the Parramatta River, 1793, January. The grave is one of the oldest on this continent. But from what I understand, that plaque was put there in the early 1900s. And then this plaque here was placed here in 1988 by the Fellowship of First Fleeters. Eleanor McGee, Nee McCave, arrived in the First Fleet, 26th of January, 1788, died almost five years later on the 18th of January, 1793. And um, it's located alongside what will become the new Parramatta light rail that will run up to Carlingford there and down to the south at Camellia, Camellia down there and then on to Parramatta. Little plaque sitting here alongside it details uh, what happened and the history of the, the people here including the original inscription of this grave was, here lieth the body of the much lamented Eleanor McGee and her beloved infant Ian McGee, who were unfortunately drowned in returning from Sydney, January 1793, the unhappy offspring of an affectionate father who was two years old and its mother in 32nd year of her age. Forbear, kind husband, weep no more, Tis vain, who folks complain, almost loved wife and babe are laid, who bound from Sydney sunk below the wave, reaching the home beyond the narrow grave. Tither the hapless husband off shall roam to drop the willing tear down the tomb and strive to deprecate their closing breath. breath.